Okay. <clears throat> Kinger has a video here called The Real Reason DLC Sucks. Okay. The Real Reason DLC Sucks. Because we don't have DLC anymore. Is that, is that what is going to happen? What is the worst trend that you've seen in gaming in recent years? There's a lot of... Uh, broken games. Buggy games. Release games that are not done yet. Did I hit it? Is it... Is that what it is? No? No doubt, but in the last 24 hours, I saw something so egregious, so heinous, I stopped editing my Red Dead Online video just to make this one today. Downloadable content, or DLC, has degraded in quality so much over recent years, it gives the MCU a run for its money. It really doesn't take a crystal- <laughs> That's actually a pretty good comparison. That's a pretty good comparison. Comparing what DLC has become to what Marvel's- the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has become. It's actually really good. The ball to be able to look back and see that not that long ago, DLC usually meant we got content. Maybe we got story content, maybe we got new maps, it was- Can I just say, uh, this this part right here? Meant we got content. Maybe we got- This this right here, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Hands down, one of the best DLCs. Okay. Best DLC probably in any game. I loved it. Loved it. Story content, maybe we got new maps. It was some kind of addition that gave a new experience. It was a little controversial in some cases, sure, but it was always understood that DLC content was more expensive because it took more effort to produce. And DLC like cosmetics were cheaper because they took less effort to produce and there was less value there. That's exactly right, okay? Why do we like DLC is because back in the day, before there was online only, DLC was the only way the games were updated, right? So you had a game that you liked, and then they came out with DLC, downloadable content. And you're like, we're going to charge 15, 20, 25, maybe $30 for this. And we were like, ooh, that's cool. I get more maps, more story, more gear. And we were all like, this is great. I like this game. I love this game. I want to su keep supporting the developers because they made this really cool game and I want to keep paying for, to keep playing more of this game. And then the microtransactions came in. And then what, what Kinger just said was that it was less content, right? So DLC came out and then the microtransactions came out. And you would think like a skin would be like a dollar because it's called a microtransaction, but that's not what it is. They're like, mega transactions right now you're paying hell even suicide squad you're paying like 30 40 dollars for a complete set of skins right now that now they've taken the microtransaction and they they've even narrowed it down to even more where you used to get an outfit for like five bucks now you get the head for five dollars and you get the torso for five dollars and you get the pants for five dollars and you get the shoes for five dollars but if you buy them all together they give you on a discount because we're so we, we really appreciate you we give you the fifteen dollars instead of a twenty dollar skin right because you get four pieces on sale today only if you buy it in the next five hours right more effort goes into the skins even though less effort goes into the skins and less effort goes into the dlcs Take Arkham City, for example, $12 for two content packs or $5 for six skins. $5 for six skins, that's, that's a pretty good deal, right? That's less than a dollar a skin. It sounds really good. Content more valuable, cosmetics less valuable. Math. And what absolutely vile trend has crept its way into the industry since then? Well, let me give you an example that is as recent as yesterday. Several months ago, yesterday when when was this uh video when was this video six days ago okay okay ago the campaign and art team at 343 industries were laid off making it pretty clear that no campaign dlc for halo infinite was on the way at a recent hcs tournament a fan who mentioned wanting some campaign dlc got the microphone snatched away from him like he was tommy wiseau at the golden globes my name is uh, evan yang and hi evan yang how are you I really like that new map. I'm Good. Thanks. I appreciate you liking the new map. I'm really excited for season five. Awesome. We're all excited I for really season like five. The customization, but I'm still praying for campaign DLC. That's what I'm looking for. Hopefully one day. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> They're like, he said the magic words, campaign DLC. Take that shit away from him. I'm going to cut you off right there, Evan. No, thanks. Uh, then. Thanks, uh, Evan. Here's a sticker. Uh, 
there's not going to be any campaign DLC come. We're making a lot more money off the uh, the uh, cosmetics. Thanks. Thanks, Evan. About two weeks ago from time of recording, 343 announced that Season 5 would be the final season of Halo Infinite. They weren't... Final season of Halo Infinite? What's happening with Halo? See, I, I'm like Titan right now underneath the rock. He didn't know about Foam Stars. I didn't know they were shutting down. Are they shutting down Halo Infinite? What's what's happening? Dropping seasonal content anymore. Instead, they're going to dial it back and release smaller updates. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, they're not shutting it down. They're just doing less content. While they supposedly get to work on the next Halo game. But Oh. Sorry to pause you on that, Fingered. That makes sense, right? We're making Halo Infinite that was supposed to be like a Destiny game, but then didn't become a Destiny game, and then it was supposed to last for 10 years like Destiny, but it's not going to be Destiny the last 10 years, and it only lasts three and a half, and now we're going to go work on the next Halo game. Am I all caught up now? Okay, got it. Never fear, Spartans Content Update 29 is on the way, and it's going to be great. Sure, we're going to scale back on content that alters the game in any way, but... Have you seen the store? 38... $38. dollars for a cosmetic bundle. Bye, bye, bye. You don't want to be a chump that's still wearing the $20 CE armor. Or don't want that. You can't show up in the battlefield with the $22 skin from last year or last month. <laughs> you guys are freaking noobs if you're wearing that stuff. The $30 flood bundle, do you? That's right. You got to get the $28 bundle. You can't wear that $22 bundle. No, you want to look good while this game spends the next year or two fizzling into the abyss. <laughs> oh, why couldn't she move over for Jack? Can we talk about that for a second? Fucking door's big enough. The door was big enough, bitch. Move over. <laughs> to summarize the trend that I'm talking about, the ratio of prices of DLC content and DLC cosmetics has flip-flopped. It has flipped so much, studios are more likely to drop cosmetics that are as ex- yeah, I, I really want this this skin. Hold on a second. It has flipped so much. Studios are more... Yeah, because I really want that skin to go to that... That's the hot skin right there. How much for that skin? I want that skin. I want... Show, show me show me what we got here. Oh, yeah. Look at that red gun firing. Because all I see is the tip of the gun when I'm playing in a first-person shooter Medics game. that are as expensive as a full-blown game than to make any new paid content at all. And it's not just Halo. Pretty much every live service game nowadays. Suicide Squads? I'm loving Suicide Squads, but man. At least it's third person. <laughs> at least it's third person. Is Whether it's free or fully priced, are spitting out battle passes, skins, and other cosmetics like sunflower seeds at a rodeo. There are still some games that offer some good paid content. You know, Remedy Games comes to mind. Their DLCs usually cost about 15 bucks each, and they give new gameplay and narrative stuff. But that is an anomaly into That's correct. That doesn't happen. That that is the unicorn of video game content nowadays. DLC. Today's gaming space. Well thank God not every studio sees Call of Duty charging twenty dollars Is that a fucking thing? Is that a thing in Call of Duty right now? There's people running around in Call of Duty with a with a rubber duck mask? Holy shit, where... Boy is... Boy is Call of Duty fallen. Boy is Call of Duty fallen. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. This is first person still, right? This is first person still? Call of Duty is first person still, right? So you don't actually get to see your character in third person. Unless there's a third person mode. There's, I know there's a game mode. Right? This this is amazing. Dude. Did you get that rubber duck costume? I paid, I paid $20. Is that what he says? $20? Hold on. In today's gaming space. Well, thank God not every studio sees Call of Duty charging $20 for a duck outfit and says, Hey! Oh my God. There's no problem. There's no problem. Don't tell me how to spend my money. I'll spend my money on a first-person rubber duck outfit that I can't see. So other people can see it. You're, you're literally paying for other people to see your shit. Amazing. That looks terrible. I want to be terrible, too. 
But the real point to drive home is not that just cosmetics are expensive. It's that there's a direct correlation between cosmetics being more- Well, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on, King. What did you, what did you say there? That looks terrible. I want to be terrible too. I, I want to be terrible too. Yeah, okay. But the real point to drive home is not that just cosmetics are expensive. It's- But they are. <laughs> but, but they are. That there's a direct correlation between cosmetics being more expensive. I have, I have a question, right? Battle passes are $10, right? $10. And a skin is double that. One skin, double that. One third of the video game, double the battle pass. The battle pass has like 100 skins in it or some shit, right? Like 20 skins, 30 skins, okay? For 10 bucks. And yet the skins cost double, triple of the battle pass and... And, and and yet one third of the video game, like what are what is happening? I feel like the gaming industry was like chat was about 20 minutes ago. They're going crazy. And less games releasing meaningful DLC content. But this isn't the fault of the studios. Would you like to hear whose fault it is? I know whose fault it is. And pick me. I, I have I have I have the answer. I have the answer, Kingard. I know whose fault it is. It is? It might hurt someone else. I know. I know. Chat, do you know whose fault it is? I know whose fault it is. Do you know whose fault it is? I know you do. I know you do. Here it comes. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna say it's our fault. There's feelings. Are you sure? All right. Here's whose fault it is. That Are you sure? You sure you want to hear me to say it? We know. DLC sucks now. Hmm? <gasps> it's you! It's <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's the greatest. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely great. I love Kingard's editing. It's us. It's the players. For allowing this to go on for as long as we have. Studios would only... And I have to find... I have to find this... This right here. <gasps> it's we, we we have to we have to get this this shot right here of the bear pointing at people when they come in and complain about how games are broke, buggy, unfinished, and cosmetics cost way too much. It's us. It's the players for allowing this to go on for as long as we have. Studios would only have the audacity to give us broken launches and bare bones live service because they can. Because they can. But higher cosmetic prices if people out there are... Remember, okay, again, I'm liking Suicide Squad, okay? But the next topic is about Suicide Squad, things they're missing in the game, okay? And we'll get to that in a second. But Anthem came out. It was broke. It was buggy. You could not connect. You could not get into a match. You couldn't even get into your single-player game because it was always online, okay? And yet... That cosmetic store, baby, churned and burned. Every single day, they put something new inside that store, and every single week, they refreshed it. Okay? Marvel's Avengers. Broke, buggy, glitchy. I couldn't finish the actual campaign because the game was broke, and yet that cosmetic store churned and burned, baby. It was it, it was like a train in, in England. It didn't miss a spot. It was like 12 o'clock, bam, arrived. Here's your new skins, okay? Destiny, broke, buggy, glitchy, doesn't matter. We got new cosmetic skins coming to the store. That store, that store works. The game, we'll get to it. Are still buying this kind of garbage. Why would a studio invest months or even a year into developing... <laughs> what Tasma says, he called me out, dang it. I'm gonna go play some tabletop games now. Some kind of meaningful extra content for, I don't know, 30 bucks. When they could just have some aspiring intern spend a couple days making a cosmetic they're gonna sell for 40 bucks. We don't get to complain about Halo Infinite not releasing campaign DLC, while at the same time shelling out $38 for a dress-up Barbie option. It is simple cause and effect. If tomorrow a baker found out that he could sell a whole cake for $30, or each individual ch Oh damn, don't give him any ideas! Oh, God damn it. Can you imagine going to a bakery? Oh, wait, I've been to some of those bakeries before. 
I've been to some of those chocolate shops that give you like a little piece of chocolate and it looks like a piece of glass and they're like, they're like, I'll have one of those and one of those and you're like, I have two pieces of chocolate. You go to the register like thirty two dollars. Like what? For what? Is this like an orgasm in a little pill? What is happening? Chocolate chip for thirty dollars. What do you think he'd start dishing out? And in between mouthfuls of that baker's subpar cocoa crust, someone asks, Hey, when are you going to take the time to come out with your next cake? Ne right, we're not. We're, we're not going to. We're not coming out with it. Why would I come out with with when 100 people have to work on a game and it takes them six, eight to an, a year to make the DLC and you're going to pay $40 for that DLC and like, I don't know, 2 million people are going to pay for it. Or we have uh, Julio in the closet that we paid as an intern uh, to pump out some cosmetics and we sell that for 20 bucks a piece and we sell 2 million copies of it. What do you think they're going to do? Never. the Poor Julio. Answer is never. Why or went out for Julio. Why would he bother? Not until people stopped buying the chocolate chips and demanded a cake would he even consider putting effort into his products again. When Fortnite first rolled out, the big pitch for buying some of its cosmetics was, hey, the game's free. $10 for a battle pass doesn't hurt. But now we're seeing games that already have a $70 price tag using the same systems. Looking at you, Diablo 4. I see you, Diablo 4. Again, this kind of greed wouldn't exist in games if it weren't working. AAA gaming's gone full onceler. It's gotten a taste for our trees and it ain't stopping. Yeah, I, I have... I have... I have an issue with... Uh, Battlefield 2042, the reason that it's continuing because why they fixed it is because they lied. They they lied. EA, Battlefield, DICE, they lied. And they brought a game out that was broke, buggy, unfinished. And they took the next 18 months to fix that game. Okay? To get it back to the point where it should have been at launch. But the joke's on us because the people bought that game for $120, I think it was. $120, $125, maybe even more than that when it first came out for pre-order. And they got your money up front. And they got a lot of money up front. And they went, well, there's a lot of player base there. Um, if we got their money up front, but now there's not people playing the game, how we make money on the game? Well, we got to fix this game, right? Which is planned that way. So they're listening. So they can fix the game. And they're like, oh, see, they care about us. So there's nothing left. Why are you coming off as so combative, Kingard? Nobody actually wants to support greedy game studios. But they do. Let me show you something. I do not condone harassment. I am only commenting on opinions posted on a public forum. Earlier today, I posted a mini tirade in my community post about- Okay, let's see what he says here. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm still buying $38 cosmetic bundles. You are actively contributing to making AAA games worse for everyone. My money, my choice, clowns. Last bundle was $30, which was also absurd. Uh, but it must blow the doors off of 343's money vault for them and have the audacity to ship something like this instead of actual content. You don't get the upset about your campaign DLC. It's also buy into the slog of the same time, cause and effect. Now, about Halo Infinite's new store items. Feel free to stop and read it for con I did. I did. See? I got you. Context, but basically I said, this is on the players for buying 343's previous expensive slop, which encourages the studio to keep upping their prices and ignore meaningful updates. And here is what some clown, some bot, some NPC of a commenter had to say about that. Oh, thank God. I was worried a white guy on the internet wasn't <laughs> going to tell me what to do today. They got that dark presence saga Anderson. <laughs> Oh, man. Sin energy. Now, normally, I don't blow an angry load over just one comment. I'm at the unless they outright lie about what I said in a video to deter people from watching it. Who does that? What commenters and people take stuff that you didn't say and take it out of context? I don't know. That's never happened to me before. But this one perfectly encapsulates the sheer ignorance of so many gamers out there. Getting defensive when someone dares suggest they are the problem, and in the case of this particular sheep with a keyboard, focusing on the race of the person spitting the facts rather than the facts themselves. I swear, some people could be told, hey, don't walk into that lava pit, you'll burn. Yeah, don't tell me what to do, Kingard. I'm gonna walk barefoot into that lava pit, and then I'm gonna complain that I'm burnt. 
and out of spite they'd dive in head first because they'd feel in control when they melted. Players are both the problem and the solution. And I know people get tired of hearing vote with your wallets, but getting tired of hearing something doesn't negate its accuracy. That's right. That's right. Accuracy. If we don't like low effort cash grab DLC getting pumped out, don't give them our money and they'll stop. When a studio does something to deserve praise, whether it's trip- You know what happens? Here's a here's a really quick way of, of describing this. If your local gas station is extremely expensive, like we're talking like a buck higher than everybody else, okay? If you don't get gas at that station, you know what's gonna happen? That gas station is gonna lower their price. And it doesn't take very long for them to change their price. No cars come and get gas. That person's gonna lower their prices why? Because they want to get people into their gas station. Because if there's no people pumping gas for that expensive price, there's no person walking in to buy that drink, to buy other things in that store. So they lower that gas price because they'll take a loss there and also make the problem sell the solution type of thing. Well, oh, I want people to come back. right? So they'll lower that gas price, and it doesn't have to lower that much either. It, it just has to get enough across the street. If, if someone says a dollar and it says 99 cents, they'll be like, what's going over there? They'll, they'll literally drive a half a mile down the street where they can't make a U-turn, make a U-turn and come back just for the save that penny. AAA, indie, or anything in between, let's celebrate and enjoy it together. To avoid further offending anyone, I could say, Like what you like, don't listen to me. But this isn't about liking what you like. This is an objective observation. Studios are losing the incentive to make good DLC. That's correct. They don't have to. Okay, they don't have to make the game better. They don't have to make DLC. Case in point, Grand Theft Auto. Because of online and because of how much money they're making there, they canceled the DLC for that game. And for 10 years now, they've been supported off of just the online stuff. Because they're still getting rewarded for the boomer projectile vomit they're dishing out instead. Studios like 343, Activision, Blizzard, and EA should be ashamed of themselves for trying to pass- They can't be ashamed of themselves. They're an entity. You gotta remember, Android Wilson is a human that we see as EA. But the company is, is like the man, the government, right? What they have no pulse. They don't care. It's a machine that just does what it does off changing some polygons as content, but at the same time, we as players have to recognize that buying this crap makes AAA gaming worse for everybody. Hey, right. AAA gaming worse for everybody, and AAA gaming prices are going up skyrocketing through the roof because they're making the graphics better, but they don't do like the, the deep storytelling anymore. They don't do any of that stuff. They do the bare minimum. Okay, and this is not talking, I'm not talking about live service games. I'm talking about just AAA games in general, okay? Companies would rather just put out that bare minimum, okay? And the, the prices are extremely high now, $300 million and plus for games that are coming out in the future, and it's unsustainable for that. Well, how do they subsidize that? Well, they got to get you, they got to get you in there. Here's the base game, right? And then they'll sell you microtransactions on the back end, right? Right? Gas. Here's the gas price to get you into the gas station. Okay? Making money off the gas. And then they're getting you in there for the microtransactions inside the store. Halo stopped caring about good content because players buy skins. COD stopped caring about good content because players buy skins. And EA stopped caring about content because players still buy their loot box player packs. This is why the my money, my choice argument is nothing more than self-glazing. For doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else, this trophy's for you! It's not just about you. You're making gaming worse for everyone. No. No, I'm not, Kingard. No, but I'm having fun. I'm having fun. One. So yeah, that's why DLC sucks now. Anyway, I felt like getting that out today. That's Whenever good. I'm done with the Red Dead Online video, I'll put it right here. Until then, go check out Kingard's video. We watch him every once in a while. He's on the show every once in a while. I think he'll be uh, filling in for Sarge on the 15th uh, next week. So not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Because uh, Sarge is, uh, I think, busy with uh, work or whatnot. So the community should feel bad. The company just wants money. You're in charge of giving them the money. Right.